Leave nothing. It must be clean with no ties. It... Hawk? It was Hawk, right? From the streets? You took the Canari from the city? Without incident? I think the incident was rather your idea. Mind your tongue, dwarf. Please, do speak your mind. The bodies of the mages Karatam led right to us. Why? You come back speaking their language and think to lecture me. If such a plot existed, if the Kunari had murdered you for trying to help their slave mage, then yes, someone might have found that useful. It would have cast doubt on appeasement. Perhaps your death would have been a tragic necessity. Perhaps finding the mage was a rushed opportunity. But all we have now are dead Kunari and the word of a sympathizer. Your Ketogen killed himself rather than be free. I assumed he wanted to escape, just as I would. My pity is genuine, but they are not like us. If, perhaps, why dance around this lie? I'm standing right here. If a member of the Chantry admitted instigation, I have no doubt it would result in more appeasement. But an accusation from a low-town thug? You are hardly that important. That's not an insult. It's why I chose you. Rest assured, excuses, real or imagined, are not for your benefit. I won't forget this, sister. Take your coin. Disappear back into Lowtown. Rest assured, I will not make the mistake of looking for help outside the faithful again. The stakes, eternity, are just too high. She'll be trouble. Here you're having problems with the bone pit. I can help. Ah, finally someone comes to help me. You look a bit unseasoned, but I hope you'll do. I had to suspend operations. My workers are lost in the mines or have run off. Serves me right for hiring Ferelden refugees. I sent others before, but no word. Perhaps they are putting me off. I'm competent to figure out what is going on. Surely the miners had good reason to leave. I am at a loss. No miner has reported in, and no one takes me seriously. The bone pit must be dangerous if people are afraid to venture there. No, nothing like that. Pay no heed to local superstition. The bone pit is mostly harmless. What's the reward? I will pay handsomely. The exact amount depends on what perils you face. I'll head there soon. The sooner the better. Each day the mine is not running costs me more than those miners make in a year. The bone pit is just outside the city. Any map will show it.
I just lost a sovereign. Didn't think you'd stoop to our kind again. Or are you not too proud to make some coin? No promises. But I'll hear what you have to say. Since you stormed off, we don't have anyone who can quite work your magic. If you know what I mean. I sent some men to fence a bit of cargo down at the docks. Haven't seen them since. I'd pay good silver for the safe return of them, or the goods. Consider it a deal. Good. Go to the docks tonight. My boy Price was supposed to meet our buyers from the Carta there. Maybe you can find out what happened. Thank you. I thought them coterie men had me for sure. I guess the whole thing was a trap. There were no dwarves when I went to make the trade. Just coterie waiting to kill us. They got the rest of the boys. I ran. I was hoping they wouldn't find me here. But they did. Is that a Fenril's rival criminal guild or something? More like she's their rival. A small one at that. What I hear is the Coterie controls most crime in Kirkwall, and they don't like competition. You're a bit young to be doing this. I'm 15, but I can usually pass for a man. My mama was ripped in two by one of them big horn darkspawn. It's just me and my sisters now. Working for a Thenril's the only way to feed the girls. I'm taking the goods anyway. Ethenril told me this was my last chance or we were back on the streets. I don't know what we're going to do now. I don't know what we're going to do now. What a terrible place to get lost. Not that there are many good places for that, I guess.
there's the entrance to the mines. Perhaps we'll find the missing workers with...
I sent Rusty, you came along. Them dragons would have sniffed me out for certain. Slow down. Tell me what happened here. I'll tell you what I can, but be a friend and keep your voice down. There's another dragon close by. Where'd the dragons come from? We was mining a new tunnel when the wall collapsed, and dragons came through. It was a bloody slaughter. Scared out of my wits. I ran like my ass was on fire. It probably was. Only I went the wrong way. Ended up trapped here. Did anyone else manage to escape? Some of my fellows ran for the surface. I hope they made it. You should get out of here. Don't have to tell me twice. You should leave too. But don't go that way. There's this huge dragon. Oh, are we gonna go that way? I've never seen a huge dragon before. I think you've got him. together to get in on the expedition. We ought to go see my brother. I solved your problem. So, what happened? One of the miners told me you rescued him from dragons. I cuffed him for lying. Well, he wasn't. Go there and see the corpses for yourself. But... I thought they're extinct. I believe you. You made them extinct again? If it is safe, the miners can return to work. I got all the dragons. Should be safe enough for now. Let us discuss your payment. You have been a great help. Since you did so much more than I was expecting, how about we work together? I am offering a 50-50 share in the mine. You will make us both rich if you can keep your countrymen safe. Why would you share half your business with me? I spent a decade 
honing my business instincts in Valroyo. I once sold a seat cushion to Empress Selene. Simply put, I have a good feeling about you. So, what do you say? That sounds good to me. So, to our first order of business, we'll replace the lost workers. I will hire new hands. Plenty of desperate Ferelden's out there, but it will take some time. I need you to convince the surviving miners to return. They are holed up in Low Town. Tell them the Bone Pit is safe again. I'll see what I can do. Not here to sell today, guardsmen. My ship does go back. Well, good luck to you then. The deal went sour. I brought back your goods. These damn fool Ferelden's. Your family's the only one with enough brains to divide among them. You've always been a professional, Hawk. Here's your cut. If you're ever looking for more work, I keep my books right here. Feel free to sign yourself up. <laughs> 